Hello, welcome to Riello's Training Centre at London Colney. My name's David Ischeck, I'm a technical trainer. In this short video, we'll be taking you through an overview of the Riello NXHM heat pump controller. It's in the default settings as delivered. So first thing we need to do is wake it up. A two second press on the unlock button followed by a beep will wake the display. On the right, there'll be the hot water temperature setting. On the left, the flow temperature to radiators. These are probably going to be the most uh, commonly used and we'll work on those. To make an adjustment to hot water or heating flow temperature, use the right or left facing arrows to select the mode you want, let's select hot water. At rest, it shows you the current temperature by highlighting that section, we can adjust the target temperature. Once done, we can leave that, we could move now to the heating section and we can adjust the flow temperature to the radiators. Most radiators uh, supplied by a heat pump will have a target temperature of around 45 degrees, so I'll leave that unaltered. But of course, it can be altered here. If we want to change the hot water or heating to an on state, at the moment it's showing off, select the section you want, press on off, and now it will work for hot water. If I want heating as well, press on off and it will work for heat. I'm going to turn them both off because I don't need the heat pump to work. To make further adjustments we need to go into the menu but before we do that I'd just like to point out we anticipate most heating systems will be radiator fed so this is the setting you'll have here. If you have underfloor that can be changed um, so we can use that as an underfloor flow temperature setting. So this is a set temperature setting flowing to the radiators. You could have an underfloor temperature setting. Um, so that's easily selectable. And you can also control two separate heating zones. We won't do that in this introductory video, but that's a possibility. Let's go into the menu. So one of the first options is operation mode. Let's have a look and here we can choose heating, uh, cooling or auto. We want to leave that on heat, don't adjust that. Let's come back out. The next setting, enter, operation parameters. We can set weather compensation um, and different preset temperatures. Your installer should set that for you. Press back. The next setting is domestic hot water. Enter, this is where you would set the time schedule for domestic hot water if you want to set a time schedule. Um, and also where you'd set the Legionnaires protection program. Come back. You can set a heating schedule here if you so wish. We recommend the heating's on during the winter all the time using weather compensation but the installer should set that option for you. Options, enter. There's a mode here, we won't go into everything. There's a mode here for silent mode. Now what we can do there is it will reduce the fan speed overnight. So uh, if the heating is working overnight, it will only work to a predetermined fan speed and we can set times to limit that. And so uh, at the moment it's not set to anything. I would say suggest perhaps to go to silent mode at 11 p.m. and to end silent mode, for example, at 6 a.m. But there, that's options you can choose. Press back. Now there is an option for a child lock. So if you've got uh, inquisitive fingers, enter. You will need a password. The password is in the manual, uh, but it's 234 press back. Scrolling down, if there's a highlighted section here, that means there are more options to come. 
service information, press to enter. Your installer or your serviceman can put his details, phone number, etc. here. Operation parameters, this explains, this tells you what the uh, heat pump is doing at the moment. And there are many screens, you can see the current condition of the heat pump. For service man, enter. Now that's where the installer will make parameter settings that we don't really want the customer to uh, adjust, so it's behind a password. That's as deep as we want to go at the moment. That's an overview of our controller. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much.